All right, today we're going to look at some cheap aesthetic upgrades to your keyboard, like this by E-Element. Starting with the packaging, you got a simple black box with silver lettering and a little window look inside, and if you pull it out, you got all the keycaps held inside a plastic casing, so it keeps everything neat and visible. Despite the low price, this keycap is double shot injected, which means you don't have to worry about the letters or numbers ever fading. Now, they do feel a little cheap, but it's still an upgrade from my Black Widow Chroma, which came with laser etched keycaps. Also packaged is a plastic keycap puller, which I don't prefer because when you press down like so here on these uh, laser etched keycaps, there is a possibility of scratching up the sides. But, you know, we're not going to use those again, we're just going to slap these on and call it a day. Unless I need to sell them or something. And this is how the keycaps look on the Black Widow X Tournament Edition, minus the little Windows one, because I like my crystal one, and the number ones, because I don't have a numpad, because this is 10 keyless. But just for reference, this is how the Windows key looks. The function key rows do not show the shortcut the Razer has, but on the number row, you do now get backlit secondary functions. This does mean on any keyboard, you're going to have to memorize those secondary functions. And now for a sound test on this keyboard. And that's it for these keycaps, which I think are perfectly worth it for how much they cost. They give a nice looking retro aesthetic. They don't cost all that much. Ever, you can find them for about 20 bucks and under sometimes. They're also double shot, so they will be actually more durable. Something I have noticed is that these keys may be a little bit concave. So they're going to have this little recessed feel, which is kind of nice when you press them down. And that's about it. Your keycaps. Go get them.